Welcome to the TI Cloud Tools webinar. Today, I am going to talk about the TI Cloud Tools and the new Code Composer Studio Cloud, or CCS Cloud for short. The TI Cloud Tools is a portal that currently hosts three main applications the Resource Explorer, the Code Composer Studio Cloud, and the PinMux Utility. Similarly to the Resource Explorer present in a typical Code Composer Studio install, the Online Resource Explorer contains several examples, demonstration code, and documentation. This release contains examples for the entire family of MSP430 and MSP432 devices and their development kits. Differently than a typical Code Composer Studio setup, CCS Cloud is installed and runs everything from its Internet server, or the cloud, instead of being installed in your computer. The IDE allows importing or creating new projects, as well as editing code, although it's a simplified version of the full-fledged Code Composer Studio offline version. Once the project is built, the firmware is then downloaded from the server and flash it to the development board in your desk. Several microcontrollers and processors assign more than one function per physical pin on the device. The PinMux is the utility that helps you configure which pins will be used by the peripherals you need. And, just like the standalone version, it manages pin conflicts and generates source code automatically. The current version supports Citara, MSP430, MSP432, and some of the latest uh, F28X devices. All this is accessed directly from your Firefox, Chrome, or Safari web browser and supports all popular operating systems, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. The major advantage of the TI Cloud tools is to quickly become familiar with the Code Composer Studio development environment and its large sets of examples tailored for several popular development boards. All this without having to download and install these applications. When opening the TI Cloud Tools on the web browser, you have immediate access to the Resource Explorer, the CCS Cloud, and the TI PinMux Utility, as well as several resources and information about the IDE, supported hardware, getting started videos, and information through the FAQ and the E2E community. The Online Resource Explorer is easily searchable. For example, I'm searching for my FR4133 Launchpad here. For this particular board, you can see there are code examples not only for the uh, out-of-box experience, but also for a booster pack, and is also examples in C and assembly. The Resource Explorer allows you to visualize the simple Blinky uh, example, or you can download it to your PC or import it to CCS Cloud. At this point, CCS Cloud opens in a new browser tab and you need to have a my.ti account. A complete project is then created and becomes part of our workspace. With the project, you can see the main source file, the auxiliary linker command file, and the target configuration file that allows my, my debugger to connect to my board. The project can be built by using the hammer, the hammer button, and once it successfully builds, it can be loaded and run on my launchpad using the play button. <laughs> the LED is happily blinking on my board. 
CCS Cloud has full integration with Git for complete teamwork and collaboration. The editor features several advanced capabilities that are very similar to the uh, full-fledged Code Composer Studio IDE. For example, I can comment part of, uh, a little bit of my code or I can also fold code to improve clarity. You can also navigate through header files or through uh, macros and definitions. You can also uh, highlight the changes done uh, to the file. Also, it is possible to connect to and communicate with the launch pads uh, via COM port as well as the ability to uh, import existing projects and Energia projects as well. With Energy installed, you can also browse its examples to create a new project in a CCS Cloud. Let me select my other uh, launch pad here and I'm going to select the, the Digital Read Serial example. Similarly as before, you can select the Hammer button uh, to build the project and the Play button to load and run uh, the code to my board. So it is uh, finished. Now I can connect to my UART port on my device. And that is the expected output. When the button is released, it outputs 1. But when the button is pressed, it outputs 0. Going back to the previous screen, the TI icon takes you to all the utilities of the Cloud Tools. Let's take a brief look at the TI PinMux utility. As mentioned before, the PinMux is the utility that helps you configure which pins will be used by the peripherals you need. For example, if your design uses an MSP432, you can select it and it opens all the configurations possible. If you need the AD converter, you simply add it to your configuration. The pins are shown here in the requirements tab and the pin layout shows the, uh, the assignments on the physical device. Also, you can see on the generated files, it generates the files for both software packages, either if you're using bare metal or driver lib. You can also download each individual's file or all the files in a uh, package. Also, the PinMux dynamically verifies conflicts. For example, if you need a real-time clock on your design, it clearly indicates that there is a, a pin conflict. So you can simply force it to select to enable this. You can even lock it and you can go back to the ADC and see which pin is in conflict. To solve this, you can simply disable the channel 10 of the ADC or you can disable the real-time uh, clock usage. That's completely up to you. There is much more to explore, therefore feel free to log in and explore all these features of the TI Cloud tools. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the short demo and overview and thank you for your time.